Marty Sports here with Marty Music, and we're going to break down a Van Halen song right now. Uh, obviously, uh, Eddie Van Halen just passed away, and I just want to express, uh, you know, my condolences to his friends and family, the guitar world, the music world in general. I know I wouldn't uh, be here doing this if it wasn't for Van Halen, uh, the impact he had on the instrument. Him and Hendrix are really the kings of it all, so got to uh, pay respects, and uh, hope you have fun with with the riff, and uh, thanks for supporting Marty Music. Here we go. All right, so we're gonna do this in half step down tuning, E flat. Um, the original recording is somewhere in between natural and E flat, so to play along, you're gonna have to go to E flat and then sharpen it halfway up to natural about. So anyway, but we'll think of it as, you know, really rocking in E. The bass opens with that. And then it's actually, you can hear that it's, that it's actually a tunematic behind there. However, if you don't have that kind of bridge, you can do it right there and still get a cool effect. But focus on the higher ones to really get it, okay? Now, he was the master at those tasty slide slide downs. Um, we're gonna think of it at, at around the 17th fret. It's always very smooth and subtle, the exact fret, you know? But think of it around the 17th fret. Then we're gonna do some power chords. The bass is doing that. And so we're going to play the 5th fret on the D, G, and B, but we're really digging in more into the D and G. But the B string's in there as well, so 5th up to the 7th. And then we're going to mute the strings, and it's a down-up scratch. And so we're going to then hammer on and we're not, the A and the E string are not in this riff. So don't, don't, don't even think about those. So you're going to hammer the ninth fret with your ring finger on the D and your middle finger on the eighth fret of the B. Like that, so. So that gets barred down after that mute, so. And then you slide it up. You're not, you're not hearing it, so. You bring it up a whole step, then release that hammer on from before. Seventeen. No big slide before the verse. Doesn't do that. So on the last one, it doesn't do that. And we're gonna go down now into this A zone. And I imagine he probably rolled his, his volume off. 
one of the cool things about a Les Paul, you could also have the upper pickup turned down and kind of switch from, have that be that quiet part. And then have that crank, so. So anyway, I'm gonna keep it on that bridge pickup for that tone. I'm gonna roll off the volume. I was just giving ideas. So, so the verse is an A power chord. And you go to that G note right there and back to the A power chord. Then you're gonna hit fifth fret D, fourth fret G, but you're gonna hit a nice quiet little open A right before it. Then that quiet open A again, followed by this shape, which is gonna be fourth on the D, two on the G. And then the third shape is second fret D, open G. So those shapes are. Then it does it again. Then it skips that second chord and goes to the third chord. And it does this little thing, so. And so they're harmonics, 12th fret B and E, and then 7th fret B and E, and then 5th fret G, all harmonics. So just to recap the verse slow. Or that finger. And back. Same way, then. And so what happens is it does this little shape and instead of the open A, it's just that D string fourth fret quick to second fret with the open G in there. So, uh, chord. So the next, the second verse is the same. I didn't turn it down enough, but you can switch to fingers. You know, it's just, he had such a touch that I don't have that. So he's, he's doing the um, uh, seven to nine on the G hammer on, but he's also getting that B string in there. Same thing here.
So you're going to slide from after that. So you're going to slide from seven on the D. And then you're going to get all the way up to 14 and then roll over to 14 of the G to the 14 on the B. And then your middle finger is going to go up to the 15 and it's going to do a little pull off twice there. So So we also are going to have to get our pinky up. So So on that B string, it's actually going to be a 14, 15, 17, then 17 off, then the two times. So I'm going to, I'll, I'll walk you through it. So let's just do this little phrase from the 14 of the G to the 14 of the B. So we're going da, da on that B string. Bum, ba, da. Then, then down, you know, G, D, and then B, G, D. So. So, let's go back to here. So all you have to do, you're going to take the same thing and do it down a whole step. And I guess I'm sliding from the seventh fret. I'm more just... Get to that pull off on that second time. And you're gonna go all the way to the 17 of the high E, whole step bend and back. So let's see. So on the 12th of the B, da, da, 13, 15, 13. And then uh, look at the B string, 15, 16, 17, and just add, add that whole step lower on the high E. So there's another harmonic part in the later verse. On that road, when he says on that road. So 
So you're doing a uh, 12th fret B, high E, harmonics, obviously. And then 7th fret G, twice. Then the B, then and then to the 5th fret, G, B, E, so. So look out for that. So besides that extra little harmonic part, um, there's another thing that happens the next time. So there's just a little bit of variation. The only thing that really happens in... Uh, So you're bending the 15, 17, 19th fret of the B. And then that's the same. And then it just goes uh, 15, 16, 17 on the B, and then you add that 15 on the high E at the end. So figuring out where that, that lick lies, it's easiest to start it not with the slide, I mean, as far as when you're counting it or practicing it. guys enjoy the lesson once again thanks for uh, supporting Marty music and uh, peace to the Van Halen family and uh, we've got this amazing music forever so I'm gonna be doing a lot more of his stuff I got to get better at it um, but I'm gonna do it so take care you guys we'll see you later <laughs>